I love baked goods and traveling to Britain more than 20 times, I have eaten a lot of desserts and baked treats in Britain. I did not realize though, until I lived in Britain, how different a certain ingredient was when you are baking on either side of the pond, sugar. That's what this video is about, showing you the difference. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dara, and I created Magenta Otter Travels to be a place where Brits and Anglophiles can get together and talk about British stuff. I'll be filming this in the store. I shop most often here in Texas, Kroger. I feel like the sugar selection in the US is simpler than it is in Britain. In the US, we have granulated sugar, then we have brown sugar, both light and dark brown sugar. And then we have confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar. That's really it, except for of course the fake sugars like sucralose, aspartame, and saccharin or stevia. Now let's talk about honey a lovely natural sweetener that has health benefits and a much higher price tag. We love eating honey both in the US and UK, but wait till you see the price difference on either side of the Atlantic. The other natural sweetener that's popular in the US is agave. It's also a bit pricey, but not as bad as honey. Now let's go see what this same section of the store looks like at my Tesco Superstore in Cheltenham. Okay, let's check out sugar and sweeteners in the British grocery store. Normal granulated sugar. The one kind of sugar that's the same US and UK. And then we've got castor sugar, something we do not have in the US. So it's frustrating when you try and make British recipes. Uh, oh, wow. This is a mix of fake sugar and real sugar called Half Spoon. And it looks like one <laughs> had a leak. Oh, never seen this. Jam sugar, never heard of that. It's pectin added to the sugar. And then we've got sugar cubes, which I think those are probably harder to find in the States. Okay, so now we get to brown sugar, dark brown sugar. I understand that light brown sugar. I understand that. Demerara sugar. No, we don't have that. And then Demerara rough cut cafe cubes. Nope, never gonna see that in the States. More Demerara. Oh, I guess it's telling me what I'm supposed to do with it. It's caramel flavored for your coffee. All right, then here's another sugar that I heard about the first time I tried to make a British recipe and had no idea what it was. Muscovado, another kind of brown sugar. Why, why do we have to have another kind of brown sugar? Two, dark and light muscovado. And then we've got golden caster sugar. <laughs> so many kinds of sugar. And then molasses, okay, our molasses is liquid in a jar in the States, and this is really, really hard brown sugar. I have never seen solid molasses before. Then we've got golden icing. I think icing sugar is like powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, but this is golden. No idea what that is. Um, then golden granulated sugar. No idea how that differs from Demerara sugar. Maybe it's the same, no idea. Then we've got the icing sugar, which I believe is just powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. And then royal icing sugar. Um, what's that? I think royal icing is like a hard icing or that goes on top of cakes. So does, does this have like cornstarch mixed in it or what's up with that? Let me know in the comments. Fake sugar, Splenda, same as we have. Trubia, brand of stevia, fake sugar, same as we have. And then Candorel, um, that is a brand we don't have, but I think it's, oh, that's fake castor sugar and icing sugar. 
and then stevia versions of all the different kinds of sugar. I have not seen this before. And then aspartame, and here's the Candarel brand again. Aspartame also. And then for the natural sugars, we've got agave date syrup. Hmm, do we have that in the States? I'm not sure. We do. And then over by pancake mixes and <laughs> beef suet, of course, whatever that is, we have syrups. Golden syrup, something we do not have in the States. It's a brand here also. Golden syrup. Oh, here we go. Here's what I was looking for. We have black treacle, which I think is kind of like the molasses we have in the States, but different. I think it's used for sticky toffee pudding. The last kind of sweetener, the honey, is over here by the jam and the other spreads like Marmite. We've got lots of honey. Oh, this is kind of a maple syrupy kind of honey stuff here. Oh yeah, got it. So the maple syrup is not over by the pancake mix. That was golden syrup. But we've got all kinds of maple syrup here. Oh, and then golden syrup for breakfast in an upside down squeeze jar. Okay, then we've got our liquid honey, blossom honey acacia honey, organic honey, regular clear honey, more runny honey. <laughs> I like that name. Light and mild honey. That's an interesting distinction. Oh, this looks good. Organic wildflower honey. And acacia honey. I do love that the honey in general is a lot less expensive than it is in the US. I mean, this big bottle is four pounds, which these days is less than $5 for 680 grams. I mean, that would probably be, I don't know, 12, $15 in the States. Ooh, comb cut honey with a honeycomb in it. That looks amazing. Eucalyptus honey, I have never seen that before. It has toffee notes in it. And then here's the good stuff here. Ian loves this. The spreadable honey or set honey. But that is a lot of honey. Let me know in the comments what surprised you about this shopping comparison versus where you normally shop. And check out this other shopping video I have here. Thank you so much for watching and do something good in the world today.